We have played better each of the past couple of weeks. We played better against Hopkins than we did against Ohio State, better against Maryland than Hopkins, better against Carolina than Maryland. Uh, I'd like to see that trend continue. We'll take our chances on Friday night if that's the case, and then, uh, and then continue to build as the season goes on. We have practiced hard, we've played hard, we've been through a tough part of the schedule. Uh, at the same time, uh, this was, you know, this was unacceptable tonight for us, uh, you know, across the board. It definitely left, left a sour taste in our mouths, especially offensively, because it just wasn't our game, it just wasn't who we are. stretch of games that we've just played, being emotionally and physically prepared is as important as anything else. I like everything about what we've done, you know, uh, from the beginning of September to this moment right here, you know. Uh, uh, I think we all feel like we got, uh, we, didn't pull, we didn't put our best effort out there on Friday, uh, but we are taking care of each other, we are supporting each other, we're picking each other up, and we are getting better, and we're getting ready to, uh, to roll uh, uh, on this coming Friday. Those are the teams that, that we gotta beat. It's not, just, uh, it's not just Duke, it's every one of these teams that, that we're gonna run into the rest of the way, and, uh, and we're right on top of it. Let's go now, here we go. Boys, taking uh, care of each other now, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get to work. One, two, three, team. So, Coop, get your head up, let's get to work. Playing for Coach Van is awesome. I mean, he is definitely an offensive genius in every way. Field's got a great matchup on that one, though. Get in, Tuck! Get in, Tuck! He knows what every player is capable of, so it's really cool to see a coach like that and a coach who trusts you when you're in there. We don't need to overshoot it, fellas. Just get on. Got a lot of K's to look at. Steele obviously is the one that really gets it going for us, whether it's he's drawing the attention and freeing somebody else up or he's actually making the play uh, that leads to the goal. Yo, pay attention. Here you go, Carl. Hey, that's a break, PG, that's a break. Jack, that's a break. Ah! He has a very good understanding of, of what we're trying to do against particular defenses and and he's also able to make adjustments on the fly on his own on the field. Uh, and it's really helpful having a quarterback out there that, that you feel is an extension of, of what you're thinking about as a coach. Two days off. Too much time. I'm sure you missed me. That's the way to go today, fellas. Like I say, you control the things you can control. What you can control is your effort every day. We practice like that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. If you're someone that has even just a passing interest in men's lacrosse and you'd like to take a peek, you should come out here on Friday night because even though we've all played each other and it's the second time around, uh, you know, this, this, these are going to be games where two, te two, two teams are getting after each other in both instances. You're going to see the best lacrosse in the country. And uh, so for anybody that would, uh, this would be a real treat to watch two games like this in the same site, uh, you know, sort of a, a really, a really rare opportunity.